Today we are going to see the implementation for the Kuwahara filter. This filter is used to create a painting-like effect from an input image, basically removing some details, making a kind of stylized look. The version presented here will be based on the original Kuwahara filter. There are other implementations which improve the results that I will try to explore in future videos. Given a pixel from the input image that will be processed, we define a radius for a square region around it that will be used for calculation. We then split the into four subregions around the central pixel, upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right. The number of pixels on each subregion is the square of the radius plus one. In this example with radius 2, n is 9. Then for each subregion we will calculate the mean and the variance of the pixel values. We can iterate over the pixels of the subregion and sum all values in an intermediate variable, m, for the mean, and the sum of the square of them for the variance, v. We then divide m by n, to get the mean of the subregion, and the v we divide by n and subtract by the square of the mean. As we will be working with color images, the final variance will be calculated as the sum of values of all channels. The output value of the Kuwahara filter will be the mean of the subregion with the lowest variance. To implement this in Unreal Engine, we can create a new material and set is domain to post process. Inside of it create a custom node and copy the shader implementation into its field. The shader code is displayed on the right side here and is available in this video description. We need to also define the inputs expected in the code and the output type. Use the same names as displayed here for the radius and view size. You can set your material blendable location to either before or after tone mapping. You can try both options to see how the appearance changes. Once the material is created, add a post-process volume actor into your scene, add a post-process material reference and put the material you created there. You can disable the filter effect by changing the value at the left side to zero. We will see other variances of this filter in the future. Thanks for watching.